Hi everybody. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. We're gonna do the Diva Lamp. This is a cute little DIY using the dollar store uh, lamp from Family Dollar. First, you're gonna to need to print out a picture of yourself or a picture off of the internet to use to put on the lamp. So here I'm taking the loose the, um, the lampshade. This is something you probably wanna pick and choose your battles for. Um, at the end of the day, I'm glad I did it because I like the outcome of my lamp. But this was a tedious process because I didn't realize once you take the lampshade apart, it comes into two different pieces. And I and in my mind, I was just assuming that there was a connecting piece to connect the top and the bottom, and there wasn't. So I ended up using wooden dowels that I had at home to connect the piece. And I, and I left clips of my struggle in here. Just, just to be real with you, it was a struggle just trying to get this together. I used um, cork, I think it's cork, yeah, cork fabric from Hobby Lobby that I had been actually eyeballing this and walked in the other day and they had a lot of stuff on clearance and this was marked down to maybe $2.74 or something up like that. But it's regular $10.99. But it's, it was only 18 inches in width. I'm not sure the height because I didn't measure the height because I knew I only needed, um, once I folded in half, it was enough to make my lampshade so I, I never measured. But um, yeah, for $10.99, this is all you get guys. But I, I didn't regret it. This this was an actual actually a nice piece of fabric to work with. So I didn't regret it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, just please drop me a comment and let me know why you didn't like or if there's something I could do to improve. This was an inspiration again from Tracy Gordon Simmons and I'm gonna link her video down below. Okay, I'm just cutting this in half and although it was 18 inches wide, I want to say I needed 18 and a half inches. So I think I just cut off a, excuse me, a random amount that I needed. That may be an additional three, three, three and a half inches just so I could have, I made sure that I had enough to wrap around my entire lampshade frame that I um, had to make.
And as you can see, once I got started with my struggle that I was telling you about, I still had to glue on an additional piece of fabric to make it even longer. When I tell you guys, this was very tedious. It was very tedious. And um, I'm not sure if I'll ever revamp the actual lampshade again. It just depends on, um, I don't know, the theme or the picture that I'm going with at the time, or if someone requests me to do one and they want a certain lampshade. But, um, nah. This And this particular lampshade was a little bunched up, was another reason I wanted to redo it. But I do have another lamp that I bought from another dollar store and it's in perfect condition. And I would just, I would just do the picture so for you guys who are like, oh, I don't want to do this. This is a tedious process. Um, it's well worth the, the outcome because I, when I say I love this lamp, I am in love with this lamp. So, hey, you just got to choose what it is you want to do. And at the end of the day, I, like I said in my last video, art is art is art. There are, are a lot of imperfections <laughs> with the rewrap of this lamp. But guys, when I tell you, when you keep on keeping on, whatever it is you're trying to do is going to come together. And the glue that I'm using, um, I'm going to I'll put the name of it in the description box below. Um, I got that from Michaels, and that's the glue that I use when I'm making journals. Um, it, it just holds really, really good, and it's a permanent glue once it once it dries completely. And um, I've been very satisfied by with it. I want to say it, it, it's a little pricey. It's either ten ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. But um, when I tell you that it's well worth the price because it does what it says it's going to do, it is really worth it. So I will put the description um, in the description. I will put the name of it in the description box below.
Hey guys, the um, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <clears throat> the bottom part is just a piece of faux, uh, what do you want to say, faux fur scra scraps that I had left from, from some vests that I did a few years back. I also sew. Um, this is the picture that I had at the beginning of the video, and all you did, I did was I cut it out. I left the shoulders on, and and I cut around the hairline. Right now, you saw see that I'm cutting up the uh, pipe cleaner into little bitty pieces, and I'm scrunching up the the tool. I think this is tool. It may be mesh. It came from the Dollar Tree. I do know that. And um, same difference. They do the same thing, in my opinion. Um, and I'm just twisting it up to make my little my little bundles. And this is just a piece of cardstock that I use. I did actually take the actual picture and draw a hairline so I would know how far to go down. And the the um, black part, I guess you can see it looks kind of pointy. That part is gonna be glued to the back of the, of the head of the picture. Um, and I'm just gluing it down with my hot glue gun and I'm when I when I glue it down, I'm pressing and holding, pressing and holding in the same direction until I get to the very end. The last one, I press and I and I held it in the opposite direction because once you let it go, it's all going to stand up and it's going to be one big beautiful bunch or whatever. And it's going to be up to you how you cut it, cut it down, or shape it up depending on what your taste. I'm just adding some embellishments to this. Um, my daughter made a joke, and I think it's rather cute that I didn't realize. I thought the fur made me look like I was um, Sunday morning sharp, ready to tiptoe up out of the house, go to church. But my daughter said that I borrowed the little mink from uh, Miss Bam on the Tyler Perry play. And maybe I did, but I feel like I'm rocking it, y'all. Um, I am Sunday morning ready, Sunday morning clean, on the first row with my hat so big, can't nobody behind me in the next two rows. See the pastor. That's what I'm talking about, y'all.
And right now I'm just pressing this down just to try to get it away from the face so you can actually see my face and see the pearl that I, my pearl earring I had to put on there, y'all. Oh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna take my scissors and actually cut some of that away just so you can see the face a little better. Okay, I'm gonna use some um, of that glue I was <clears throat> mentioning in the earlier in the video, as well as some of the Gorilla Glue spray. And just the Gorilla Glue, I just wanted to have more of an instant hold. And the other, the other glue, like I say, is very strong glue, but it does take a, a moment for it to dry. And that's what I'm doing right now. And once I finish this, then I'm gonna take some of the bling wrap just a string and I'm going to embellish the bottom of the lamp as well just to tie in <clears throat> excuse me some of the red from the um the picture or the hair that I made I created with the tool just to tie in some of that red to the bottom of the lamp and just to pull the lamps together in my opinion I felt like it needed a little pop of something at the bottom so it wouldn't be just so blah and um that's what I'm going to do next 